Can you face toward the camera? Just for the beginning? I'm sorry for what I did. You ready for some good news? First up, researchers in Australia have made a discovery that could lead to new treatments for diabetes. A hormone called GLP-1 helps to regulate blood glucose levels in humans and other animals. GLP-1 degrades within a few minutes of being secreted in most animals. In people with type 2 diabetes, this short-term release of the hormone isn't enough to maintain healthy glucose levels. Researchers at the University of Adelaide have discovered a version of GLP-1 that doesn't degrade as rapidly, and they found it in the venom of the platypus. Male platypuses have a spur on their hind limbs that secretes venom during mating season. Did you know that? Because I did not know that. The GLP-1 in the platypus venom doesn't degrade like the GLP-1 produced by our bodies, which means that it could be used as the basis for a treatment for type 2 diabetes. A longer-lasting form of this important hormone would be very good news indeed for the hundreds of millions of type 2 diabetes patients living around the world. This research is published in the journal Scientific Reports. Next up, scientists have devised a newer, simpler method for constructing quantum computers. Quantum computers will be the next great leap forward in information technology, potentially tens of millions of times faster than current computers. Building them on a large scale is beyond our present level of technology, but thanks to a team of scientists at the University of Sussex, it might not be for long. A major obstacle in building a working quantum computer is precisely aligning all of the billions of quantum bits it would use to store and process information. Conventional designs, if there can be conventional designs for technology that doesn't quite exist yet, call for aligning the quantum bits using billions of tiny lasers. The University of Sussex team has devised a method of aligning the bits using electricity. No lasers required. So far, all they have is a proof of concept, but the team says they're moving forward with plans to build a large-scale quantum computer using this new method. A paper on the subject is published in the journal Physical Review Letters. And finally, a professor at Florida State University has developed a new material to better store hydrogen fuel. Jose Mendoza Cortez, assistant professor of chemical engineering at Florida State, has designed porous metal compounds that bond with hydrogen. Fuel cells made using these materials would be able to store greater amounts of hydrogen at much lower cost and without the current requirements that hydrogen be kept at a very low temperature under high pressure. Hydrogen-powered cars have long been touted as being a major part of our clean energy future, but the automobile industry has yet to embrace the technology. Perhaps breakthroughs like this one by Professor Mendoza-Cortez will help to change that. Thanks in part to him, someday many of the world's automobiles could be powered by clean, abundant hydrogen. The paper on these new storage materials is published in the Journal of the American Chemical Society. It just breaks my heart that I have a cat with no passion for science. It wasn't always this way. When she was younger, she was very interested in science. She was always conducting gravity experiments. At least I think that's why she kept knocking stuff off the shelves. Anyway, the key to better diabetes treatments could be in platypus venom. A new construction method could pave the way for quantum computers and newly developed storage materials could lead to practical, commercially available hydrogen cars. That's the good news. No, go ahead, sleep through the tag too, that's fine. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. See you next time.